Welcome to SHOT Show TV, I'm David Lombardo, and today we're with James Gervais, who is uh, President and COO of Laser Star. Laser engraving is becoming a really big thing in the firearm industry, I understand. Absolutely, David, and by the way, thanks for having me. Uh, you know, the whole personalization custom shop marketplace is rapidly growing in this industry, and it's really about every item telling its own story. Laser Star specializes in producing and selling laser engraving machinery to really allow you to customize a wide variety of tactical and firearms items. We have a sample of them here on the table, and if I just highlight some of the areas sure. of strong interest well, today here ahead. at the show is, uh, for example, the AR-15 lower has a very Which elaborate, that one. Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, filigree and deep engraving application in, um, in aluminum, which is a very challenging application to do by hand. And our software, which is StarFX Premier Design Studio, really makes it very easy for the user. You know, things such as mags, uh, knives, uh, slides from different handguns, customization of uh, polymer grips is really a, a big popular area for all of these companies that are considering turning laser engraving into a profit center for their business. So I, I have a, a friend who, uh, well, an acquaintance, who has an AR-15 and a 1911 mm -hmm. with his name very predominant mm -hmm. on the on the slide. Mm -hmm. of the, and uh, I never asked him where he had it done, but it's really pretty impressive when you look at it. it uh, we have a lot of clients who, uh, who are doing that type of work. A, a 1911, which is a very valuable firearm, probably sells for close to $2,000. By the time the personalization is done, they can come in four or five thousand dollars for that item. Really? Yeah, it's really so very impressive. If one, of course, you're in the business of doing this. If somebody wants to have like their name put on a gun, mm -hmm. what what would something like that cost typically? You know, traditionally it depends on the business model of the of the vendor that's doing it. But in most cases, they come in sixty to hundred dollars for that, and they'll really decorate it up. They'll allow the uh, the consumer to select what style font they want. Do they want any decorative themes? For example, if they're retired military, they can put uh, different ranks on the piece. You know, really make it their own. Sure. It's all about exploring the options of the artistic side of the process. I, I think looking at this knife, can we hold the knife up and take a look at it? Let's, let's take a look, go ahead and hold it up. Show them the, the artwork on that, it's, it's really quite nice. You know, this knife is an excellent example of how applying laser technology, which is really manipulation of hot light through optics, can bring the carbon up to the surface of the steel to give you an inking effect without creating an ablation or a cut into the surface. So if you rub your finger across this, it's perfectly it. smooth. Oh, and yeah. that's something yeah, that's yeah. highly desirable for the consumer. Whereas something like this, which is a 1911 slide, you can do very elaborate deep engravings. Oh, yeah. But at yeah, the yeah. same time, you can do photo illustrations here. And this is all permanent. This will not disappear over time. Sure. This is embedded into the metal itself. This is a raw piece that came right out of a machine. You know, and then quite often people may polish or plate, or quite often you'll have pieces where you bring in a Cerakote process, and an item like this, which has been coated in gold, can then be lased on, and we can bring the black surface of the polymer back up to create the artistic contrast. So how do you get the design into the system? Is it is it somebody does a drawing and you digitize it, or how, how does that That's happen? That's one way. Quite often people will bring art, something they've sketched, something that they saw on the back of a matchbook, and they say, I really like this. Through our software process, you have the ability to scan and auto trace that image and turn it into a digital image, primarily a DXF file. So that's one process. There's a lot of digital artwork available on the internet today that you can purchase, or some people, if they're savvy with Corel Draw, Illustrator, InDesign, they'll draw it themselves right in the software and then save it as the correct file format and then provide it to the user. Many of our customers uh, will have a good graphic artist in-house and then we teach the graphic artist how to run the software, which is extremely intuitive, and basically then apply the markings to the laser surface of choice. So you could, if you have a, you want to put a picture of your kids on your gun or your uh, wife or girlfriend or whatever. If you deem that's appropriate, then absolutely. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. That, that's highly personalized. It's very firearm, personalized. Yeah. yeah. You know, or something, for example, like this, where this is a P365 slide. You know, this is an example of doing a, a, an elaborate honeycomb shape. Again, things just to add value. 
gas relief holes here, whatever the, whatever the customer wants. We have a number of clients who mass produce items like this on the secondary market and then they're using the laser process to add another level of value so that they can sure. increase their retail price. So if one of our viewers is interested in this, how, how would they get a hold of you or how would they find out about it? Well, if they're interested in getting into the business of this, they can contact us at laserstar.net, or if they're looking for somebody who maybe provides this service, we have an installation base right now in the United States for this marketplace of more than 650 machines. We'd be happy to give them, this is a couple of companies in your local area, sure. please feel free to contact them. James Gervais with Laserstar, thank you for coming in, we appreciate it. And for SHOT Show TV, I'm David Lombardo.